Assalamu alaikum everybody, Alisha Mo here and in this video we are going to take a look and review the WL Toys DQ242 5.8 GHZ FPV real time mini quadcopter. Well I don't know how many it is, it shouldn't be that many that I have just reviewed like FQ777 which is not WQ, WL Toys but this WL Toys DQ242 seems to be a little bit better size compared to that one. It has a radio which has a built-in LCD on it for the 5.8 GHZ live video viewing from your quadcopter. It has an HD camera. Now what is that HD nowadays? All these toy great quadcopter manufacturers, they just say it has an HD camera. Hey, what kind of HD camera is it? Is it 720p? Is it 1080p? 4K? What? So by saying HD camera, they just cover everything in their sense. Anyway, it has a headless mode, uh, flips, and of course, automatic one key return to home based on compass, not on GPS. So compass based auto return to home, they have some very funny results, trust me. Anyway, let's take it outside the box and see what is it. WL Toys seems to be making some good quality quadcopters these days. All right, this is how it's packed inside the box. And I'm really happy that it's not that mini size. It's medium size okay a little bigger than those micro quadcopters or mini quadcopters in the market here we are with everything outside the box you get a quadcopter a battery sliding battery tray with the battery inside nice nice sized lcd as well awesome so yes when you look at the wl toys products you feel better so i'm very happy to see the quality material and quality build here now let's worry about the quality of performance and see how well this quadcopter will perform in the air, how good is the camera, and how good is the live video transmission, that is FPV 5.8 GHz transmission. Let me prepare it, and we will fly it right away, but before that, don't forget that you get a TF card reader, you get a USB charger, a spare propellers, and goodies as well. Ooh, awesome. I was about to go get some batteries, but when I open the battery compartment, I see a LiPo battery that is 500 milliamp, 1.85 wh uh 3.7 volt to power your radio right away so basically you can use the same charger to charge it as well but i see there are two chargers in there so let me just quickly turn on the quadcopter and we can see how well the video transmission is okay well there you go you have your live video transmission right away Hey, look, mini unique Q500. Ah, ah, ah. There is no delay in the transmission, okay, because this is 5.8 GHZ live transmission. All right, so let me charge the batteries, give it a flight right away, and we will have some fun flying FPV right here indoors. All right, let's fly WL Toys. Q942, if I believe I'm uh, remembering right, we'll turn on the radio, put the quad battery in, wait for the video to show up, come on, lock it up, there we are. It's very darky darky days, so camera actually sh will shoot very darky darky. But I have put two colorful robots there for us to see. And I have turned on all the lights as well. So I will stop shooting the video. And we will see the flight performance only now. I may take a picture of myself so you can see how I look like at the moment. All right. Oh, don't come too close. 
Now we are in agile flight mode, so she will be very fast. And if you are shooting or recording a video, you will be very very dizzy for that. So let's record a video anyway. Hey look, there is nothing up there. My PlayStation setup is gone. Only my paraglider is resting there with its harness. Because moving to Dubai, <laughs> most of the stuff has been sold out. We are very, very happy for that. All right, I'm having fun with this one. It's flying really nice. I'm not gonna put press one key return because those things always generate very terrible results. Come back. Uh oh. We crashed and we took a propeller off. All right, well, no problems. Put the propeller back in, stop recording, start recording, and start flying again. That's the beauty of these things. Superb flyer, indoors only. I don't want to risk flying it outdoors. I tested it outdoors. Uh, at certain range, it will just fall to ground. So I don't want to risk it flying outside the window. Because if I fly it outside the window and if it falls, I have to go a long way to pick this thing up again. All right, let's take some pictures of uh, robots and the truck. Okay, quad falls. I mean, lens, the lights are blinking. That shows we are run. That shows we are running out of battery. Okay, well, we can conclude now. That was fun flying it indoors. And, and it is fun to experience live video coming from the quadcopter. And there is no delay at all. Um, you can actually enjoy a lot of FPV within the short range. So basically flying it indoors It's fun and I will say this is an indoor quadcopter not an outdoor quadcopter that is established You can fly it outdoors, but you will experience your video dropping Glitching and of course sometimes your quadcopter will drop if it runs out of battery So if you're flying outdoor make sure to fly it around you don't go too far or you will lose the quadcopter Overall, I will say it's a fun quadcopter. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the new uploads. If you like the video, hit the like button and share it with friends.